What's going on guys? I'm Simple Simon and today's video is a little bit different than the usual video. I've been wanting to make this video for quite some time. So uh, I have a friend who I met through Mark at Big City Comics. Uh, he shops at Big City Comics. He goes by the name Jin. Well, his name is Jin. He doesn't go... His name is Jin. Jin basically customizes action figures uh, and toys just as a hobby. And for, for the longest time, I want to, I guess, him to do a project for me. And today I think is the day. So originally I was going to get him to customize an action figure, but I thought I'd throw something a little bit more challenging at him. Apart from action figures, he also does other things. So when I first discovered that he did this as a hobby was when Mark bought his Nerf M41 pulse rifle, uh, the Aliens Nerf gun, Jin actually painted that thing up and made it look like the real deal. And that's when I first discovered Jin doing these things. And over time, uh, you know, I chat to Jin while he's at Big City Comics and you know, he shows me some of his projects. He doesn't just, you know, repaint figures, but he makes like dioramas and things like that as well. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get some footage of some of his other work for you guys to see because he's a really, really talented guy. He really just does it for a hobby. Uh, and I keep telling him you should share this stuff or you should charge people <laughs> to do commissions and stuff. But he's like, nah, I just enjoy doing it. So, you know, it's my job to showcase Jin's skill to the world. Just a quick shout out to my some minions. Your support is greatly appreciated. Channel membership is now available. To find out more, hit the join button to find out about perks and exclusive videos and content. But always remember your membership is not required. The best way to support the channel is by liking and commenting on all the videos. The nomination round has begun for this year's Comic Book Community Awards. Vote for your favorite comic book YouTube channels across a number of different categories and show your love and support for the comic book YouTube community. Visit cbcawards.org. So, uh, I've got two things I'm going to throw at him and I don't even think he knows what one of them is. But the first thing is um, this Han Solo uh, blaster. Shout out to my mate Ashby who I work with. He 3D printed this. So this is a 3D printed blaster. Uh, I've had this for quite some time now. So again, I've been wanting to um, get this painted up. Originally, I was going to do it myself, uh, but then I realized, you know what? I don't want this to look like ass, and that's what's going to look like if I do it. So I figured I'd give it to an expert. Um, I have told Jin about this, and again, I'm pretty sure he's up for the challenge. So that would be the first thing I uh, give to him. The other thing I'm going to throw at him, which he doesn't know about, hopefully he's okay with this, uh, is another type of Star Wars blaster, which is this. My Mandalorian, uh, what's it called? The Ambin Pulse Rifle, I can't even remember what it's called. Um, but this has just been sitting around collecting dust. I don't do a lot with it these days. So I thought maybe if he did this up too and made this look like the real deal, that could be cool. Uh, I would love to get my Aliens uh, Pulse Rifle done one day too, but uh, he's already done that. So I feel like he would probably be excited to do a new challenge, which would be this Mandalorian rifle. So they're the two things I'm gonna throw at him. So I'm gonna go to his place and like I said, hopefully have a bit of a chat with him and hopefully he'll have some things that he can show me so I can show you guys of some of the work he's done in the past. And then uh, we'll do a bit of a time jump to the final product when he's done these for me. All right, this is Jin, the wizard. Ah, oh, the wizard. <laughs> yeah, the wizard. So uh, we're gonna have a look at his collection first and maybe you can show me some of your customs that you've done. Uh, and then we'll just quickly go through what you think you're going to do with the stuff I've given you. Okay. So Jin's obviously a Batman guy. That's pretty much what he collects. Oh, this is cool. Oh man, see, that's one of the, that was one of the first dioramas that you showed me, this one. That's, oh, you got lights in there? Okay, so this is the type of stuff Jin does. You can open up the cabinet. Oh, I'm, I'll break everything if I <laughs> get no, to. No, no, no. You can touch whatever you want. Um, so just don't know if you're going to get clear. How long, like, do some of these things take? Um, it all depends on how committed you are to make, make it detailed. Yeah. Um, so that was my first custom. That took me over a two week period, probably doing an hour here, an hour there. I would probably say 10 to 12 hours on that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Less work on that one. Yeah. Um, because it's, yeah, it's, it's not a lot there. Not as much going on as that one, yeah. Yeah. So. 
So oh. Flames there and check out the Superman. Oh, what? So you put electronics in him? Yep. That's sick, man. That's crazy. And is that stuff you just found tutorials on YouTube how to do it or you just, no, just do your own research? It's, it's just um, a bit of imagination and improvising with what you can get your hands on. Wow. And the Bane there, I'll let you do the honors. Yeah. See the little red button on his gauntlet. Yeah. What, here? No. Oh, his gauntlet. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think you've shown me this. Oh, man, that's... Oh, you got it. It clicks. Oh. Yeah, that's crazy. Is that the figure that came on its own, or is that the builder? No, that's the, that's the mega fig. Oh. Yeah, that's the one on its own. Wow. And again, you just came up with this on your own, yeah. or did you see other people do it? No, I was the first to do this, and then when I posted it, it went viral. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. You need to. So this is all. It's fully articulated. It's still, it's still as it is. Yeah. Um, so the wiring and the battery pack is hidden inside the bane. Um, a fully functioning switch, and it's just sourcing out where you can get these. I get a lot of inspiration from some of the people on YouTube. There's um, a guy by North of the Border. He sculpts his own stuff. Um, there's one called Boile Hobby Time. Um, he does all the lighting effects stuff with his work. Um, another one was Ink Drop Customs. He does a lot of McFarlane and a lot of the Marvel stuff. He does a lot of customs on those. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, oh, there's uh, just for my mate Super Rust, there's the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I might do that. Asriel that he's uh, been looking for. Who's looking for that? My mate Super Rust. You have that in the background of your videos. I do have that, yeah. I did a custom on Yeah, that. you did customize that. Yeah, you can see there's a bit of rust on the... Yeah, that's cool. Did you customize this one? No. That's just standard? That was my Braille. Really? Because um, he was the last with guns sold by McFarlane. Yeah, right. Um, and after after they released that, they stopped releasing a lot of... Some people guns. 3D print guns, right? Yeah, and... He also does um, a thing called an ammunitions pack. It's like a twenty. I've pack seen, and it's just got guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Yeah, because yeah, every red hood now just comes with a crowbar. That's right. So you just modified the paint on this one? Modified the paint and that Batman itself, it's the Batman that belongs with it. Yeah. So it's the White Knight Batman. Oh but, yeah. But he was a red variant. So he was fully red. Yeah. And I didn't want him red. Yeah, no. So Batman's not red. Because I couldn't get the original. All right, so when it came out, the canopy was gray, which everyone hated. So this is a full matte finish. Um, I've done the wheels, I've done the tips on the exhaust, oh, that looks sick. but also it's fully lit up. Oh yeah, nice. You did that to Mark's one, didn't you? You yeah. did the lights? Yeah, sick. That's awesome. Oh, and inside. And inside. Oh dude, that's awesome. Man. Yeah, that looks sick. So, um. I've got a thing with putting lights and stuff. Well, it looks cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> looks cool as. And that one there, I had to make the tail lights myself. I had to make the headlights myself as well. It was quite a bit of work in that one. And it's, um, it's just a touch sensitive one I'll switch. That's sick. Okay, game plan, first thing, research. It all starts with research. I compile a whole heap of photos and then I will obviously submit them to you, see how you feel about it with the colour scheme. Like you may want the warm look. Yes. You know, you want you know a few scratches, it looks like it's gone through war, and then we'll take it from there. I'll, I'll send you photos of stages as well. 
because yeah, Jin's not a not a Star Wars guy. He's uh, clearly a Batman guy. <laughs> yeah. So this is definitely a challenge, right? It is a challenge. But um, I'm up for the challenge. I'm always up for the challenge. And um, it's exciting. Look forward to it, mate. All right, we're back at Jin's. It's been maybe a month. Since. Uh, so how we're gonna do it is, uh, we're gonna do the Bla Han Solo blaster reveal here. Okay. And then the rifle, I might do at home because it's the biggest piece, so I might do that on my own. Yep. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll start off with the blaster. Okay. And see, and see the work and maybe we can talk us through what you've done. All right, well, here you go. Oh, look at this. Is that a pull tab? Wow. Uh-huh. Professional, I like it. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh man, that looks badass, dude. Wow. Wow, that looks so good. Man. So how many hours do you reckon went into just this? Just in that, I would say three and a half to four hours. Oh really? That's that seems kind of quick. Yeah, doing bits and pieces here and there because it's a because as you when you brought it in, it was a 3D printed model. Yeah. So there's no moving parts, everything's pretty solid, so it is just basically paint, and that's it. Man, the fact, I, the, I, that looks like real wood on there. Like you made it, like, yeah. Was there anything challenging about this? Um, Cause you haven't really done 3D printed stuff before, have you? No, no, um, nothing really was challenging on that one. That's probably one of the more basic. <laughs> basic models that I've had to work on. Well, good thing. I brought you some new projects today. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Um, so yeah, obviously I'll do some B-roll shots so you can see a good good look at this. But yeah, that looks sick, man. That's so good. And of course, if there's anything you want to change, just hit me up and I'll be happy to man, um, let's... do your special touch to it. I've always wanted that old, like, I think it was Kenner, did like the Han Solo toy of this. I don't think I need it anymore, mate. This looks, this looks better. Uh, but yeah, this, the handle looks... It actually looks like wood, some, somehow. Did you do anything to, or did you just paint it? Uh, it's pretty much paint with um, yeah, a few different techniques. Yeah, just like these little bits here make it look really like a wood handle. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, trying to um, make a wood grain look. That's awesome. All right, well, I'm gonna do the rifle at home, but uh, I've got, I've brought some stuff. Gifts, you could call it, but it's more, more work, really. Okay. <laughs> I've got couple of projects maybe for you. So maybe we'll make this, you know, an ongoing series. And again, I don't want to rush you into this. I know you're busy, you've got other people and your own stuff to do. I did discuss this with you already about doing up my Red Hood Black oh, Series figure. I don't recall you saying that. This is the black and white yes. Red Hood uh, because the original version of this Red Hood never came out in Australia. Mm -hmm. You can only get it in the double pack, which I've got, but because it's kind of old, I don't really want to open that up. This one I bought to open, but I don't really like that it's black and white. So I was hoping you could maybe make this look as close to the original one okay. as you could and see how okay. you go. So there are already red parts on him. Yes, so, um, so it's the mask and the, and the and logo the, on Yeah, the, yeah, the so, case. but uh, I'll give you free reign on that, man, to make that as look as good as you think you can do. Okay, awesome. All right, the other one is another multiverse because I know that's your specialty. Uh, I bought this recently. I bought my steel figure because I just feel like it's very blue, don't you think? It's like a very blue to me. Again, yeah. I'm colorblind, so it might not be blue at all. I agree. But I thought you could maybe give it a more silver metal look. Yeah, it definitely needs some metallics done to it. Yeah, so I just thought, like I think the figure looks pretty good. Yes. I just thought the color is odd. Yes, I do agree. So do uh, agree. again, I'm happy I mean, to give you free reign on making that list, what you think would make it look best. But to me, steel would be like a like a silver metal color in my in my head, anyway. Is how I sort of picture it. Now I do it. remember you unboxing this. Yeah, and that was a great video. Um, I have seen also people complain about the hammer itself. Yeah, how it bends and warps it's just very, because it's, it's very thin and flimsy. Yeah. So if you want me to redo a, oh, a mallet, guy. okay. Yeah, for go, sure. Because it is, out. it is very bendy. It is very bendy. So if you can do the poses and you want just a single arm swing, and don't want that bending hammer, but um, yeah, okay. I've got my work cut out for me. The 
red on this cape looks amazing. Yeah, the red's great. Yeah. And I loved how that really stands out it does. against that color as well. But it I think does. even with silver, I think it still would. Yes. So with this, I mean, do you have to remove the cape somehow to be able to paint this figure? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, there's tricks to everything. Um, and it's mainly just hot water. Okay. which softens the glue and it yeah. just peels right off. Yeah, I can't remember what... You, yeah, sorry, go. You won't even know the difference once I'm done with it. So that'll be the next project, and I guess next time we revisit... Uh, I don't know, we're going to come up for a name. Jin's Workshop. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> we'll see what you've done there in a separate video. But also, I've got something for you. Oh, serious? Yeah, yeah, I know Jin doesn't like taking gear, so he doesn't want your money and things, but I had to do something because I feel bad, you know, because it takes time doing this stuff. So hopefully you'll accept. You better accept, because I'm not giving you a choice, but uh, last time I was here, you were talking about a comic artist, I can't remember his name, but I looked him up, and then I saw a Batman cover that he did, which I have. I'm pretty sure it's the artist you mentioned. Hopefully it is. But anyway, you don't have this cover, right? No, I don't. It's a 1 to 25 ratio, I think, which wow. is probably why. Uh, but someone gave it to me, and I was actually just going to move it on, so that's for you. Yep. And then on the back, oh, that's all good, man, because I know he mostly collects just Batman. He's a big Batman guy. Yeah. Uh, and then on the back, I got another gift for you. So yeah, I also got you this because uh, I think you've never been to Pop Toys, right? That's true. They're out in Moravan. Yes. Yes. Well, now you got a reason because uh, I got oh, you a, wow. a, a gift card for uh, for Pop Toys. Oh yeah. wow! Enough, enough for a, enough for a multiverse figure, hopefully. So uh, yeah, they're going up, but definitely will be. Um, but yeah, I, I thought I'd get you that, so it'll give you an excuse to uh, get into Pop Toys because they're pretty good with the multiverse stuff. Yeah, I'll do the rifle in the next part of the video. But yeah, uh, Jin just started Instagram. Yes, I did. I was like... Um, I'm a novice to all of this high-tech <laughs> high uh, info... If, oh, well, what do you call it? Social media. Social media, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so the link to Jin's Instagram will be here. I was actually last night like, I'm going to come here today and make you start an Instagram just for this video. And then I woke up this morning, he'd already done it all by himself. So Jin's Customs, uh, follow his Instagram and follow the work that he does. He's only uploaded a few things, but that will build because um, you haven't even seen the best of his stuff yet. Yeah, thank you very much. And Simon, yep. I hope you really enjoyed the Mandalorian when I pull. Oh, dude, yeah. I can't wait. All right, so I'm back home. Uh, I've got the Mandalorian rifle here. I'll quickly show you one more time the Han Solo blaster. So I'm absolutely amazed with this and he said this was basic stuff so he and you know i guess there's not a lot of color to it but he said this was really quick and easy for him to do um but yeah absolutely stoked with his work uh on the blaster all right now with the rifle so i have to tell you a bit of a story first that jin told me before i left uh he actually said to me i have to confess something he said while experimenting uh, with some stuff with my mandalorian rifle he actually broke it. <laughs> he had a part in boiling water and it actually warped. Obviously, he felt bad and he went out and bought a whole nother Mandalorian Nerf rifle. So uh, I feel super bad for that. I totally wouldn't have cared uh, if he stopped, you know. Um, it's not like I was paying him to do this. So yeah, but obviously Jin, uh, I guess, has his work ethic. He's like, no, I took on this project. Uh, it's my fault, so I'm gonna... Anyway, so yeah, he, he actually bought me a whole new Mandalorian rifle. Oh, man. All right, so I still can't really see it properly. It's in um, bubble wrap. Now, I don't think I took a before shot of this, so hopefully I have some footage of maybe from my video when I first unboxed it. Uh, I don't see an ounce of orange. Obviously, this whole thing was orange and with a bit of brown with some gray, but it was a big orange gun, and I don't really see any orange to the bag here. Oh, holy shit. Oh, man. Oh, dude. Oh, look at that. Holy shit. That's so sick. Now, I can't even remember how to use it. It's been a while since I actually fired this. This was like a thing that you cock back. Holy crap, man. Look at that. Man, so... These end parts here are foam, so he's actually put a toilet roll there just because these can actually kind of warp. So yeah, he's put a little toilet roll there to um, keep them uh, from, from, I guess, bending and stuff. He's done all his research, and man, this looks so sick. I'll have to get some close-ups, obviously, so you can see some of the finer details that he's done. The coolest thing on this is definitely 
Look at the fork there, right? He sent me some photos and basically said there are some images where the fork has this kind of blue burnt metal look, obviously from being used, right? Um, and I was like, I definitely, definitely want that. So that looks so sick on the end there. So I'll definitely get some close up B-roll shots of this so you guys can really have a good look at some of the finer detail. Um, but man, it's crazy because I don't really, I'm not like a handyman person at all. I don't know a lot about, you know, doing things like this uh, because the few times I've tried to paint stuff, you know, it looks painted. Um, but this stuff really looks just like, you know, it looks like this is just how it came. Like the way the metal looks here. Oh man, that's so, so good. So yeah, absolutely stoked with this. Uh, this is definitely a display piece now. Uh, that I'll have to find somewhere good. I've got, I might put it in the glass cabinet. I might need to get a, um, some kind of stand for it though, as well as this. I might need to get a stand for both of these, but. So I would appreciate if you guys gave Jin's uh, custom page a follow. He just started it. So he's got some amazing stuff as you probably saw in his room. The next time Jin comes on, I guess we'll see how he did with the red hood and the steel figure. But yeah, absolutely outdone himself on, on both of these. That's it guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video was nothing like I thought it was going to be. Originally I was going to make the video like customizing the Mandalorian Nerf gun, customizing the Han Solo blaster. But when I started editing after the first night of filming at Jin's place and we did the room tour and things like that, I was like, this is a completely different video than what I kind of envisioned it to be. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, Jin will be back and I would appreciate it if you guys gave his page a follow on Instagram and check out some of his work. If you guys are still watching this video, I appreciate you. Uh, don't forget to give this video a like, leave a comment, let us know what you thought of Jin's work. And until next time, I'm Simple Simon. Tell your friends that this is the way.